Hello and welcome, my name is Amir and in this video we are going to take a look at Create Portal API. With this API, we can render some children into a different part of the DOM. So let's go and see an example. As you can see, I have a simple div here with the class of border to show some border around the div. Then I have a P here and the Create Portal. Create Portal takes three arguments. The first one is the JSX that we want to show. Second one is the place that we want to put this JSX. The third one is optional and is the unique key that can be used by portals key. So if I run this, you can see that I have a div of root and then the bordered and then this P. But the other P is rendered right into the body, just outside of this bordered. It's important to know that a portal only changes the physical placement of the DOM node. In every other way, this JSX that is rendered into the body act as a child of the React component that renders it. In this case, this JSX is considered a child to this component that we have here. It means that it can access the context provided here and even bubble up from children up to the React tree. This create portal can come in handy in many occasions. As an example, we can have a model created by this create portal. So let's do that now. I will remove everything here. And right now I'm only having a text. So if I go back, I will have a text here. Then I will create a model component. This model has nothing inside it for now, but a model usually has a show state. So let's add that first. We have a use state here, and then we would say, okay, show model and set show model, use state false. So by default, don't show the model. Then I'm adding a button here that when I'm clicking on that, the show model will set to true. Great. Next step is that when the show model gets true, I need to show the model and render it into the body. So I would say show model. Then I need to import the create model and use it here. So create portal. Create portal, as we said, will take two arguments. First is the JSX and the second one is the place that we want to show it. Well, actually three, but we are currently focusing on the first two. So let's render some JSX, div class model, and then second one is the place, document.body. So if I go and run this, well, yeah, I need to go here and add model to the app.js like so. Now if I go here, I have some text and this is show model and when I click that, there will be an empty model added to the body. So let's go and fix this. Here in the model, after I have created the model, I can have some text here. For example, I am a model. If I go back, I can see the I am a model. And if I refresh, I am a model. Now, the model will usually have a close button somewhere, like here or here, that when we click on that, the model will go away. That can easily be done here. So, we have a button that on click, set show model false. And as you can see, this JSX has access to this function, which is the use state function. So let's go and see if it works. Go here, refresh, and if I press show model, first we can see the model is here, inside the body, outside the root. And if we press close, the model will go away. There are many other use cases. We could use it for pop-ups. We could use it also for toast messages and so forth and so on. So yeah, this was it for Create Portal. I hope you have enjoyed the video and learned something and uh, see you in the next video.